Hello guys, welcome to episode 2 of Getting Gary B. This is my whole video thing I set up to um, get Gary B's attention. And um, so today on this episode we're doing a review of Oakleaf. Two dollar bottles of wine. This is my story. The story of how I met Gary V. Two dollar bottles of wine are underestimated. These aren't even two dollars anymore. Now they're you can tell I drank a little bit, so I might be slurring. Now they're this is two ninety six now. Back in my day at the Walmarts and the Food for Lesses in Lancaster, California, these things were only one ninety seven. This was two ninety six. Um, we used to call this whole category two buck checks because, um, you know, uh, Trader Joe's used to have, I think, Charles Schwab, um, and that was their brand, and that was two dollars. And so, yeah, so on this episode, I'm going to sort of do a wine review of this oak leaf, which I've been sipping, and I can tell you already that it's really good, and, you know, I'm not going to be all bougie with it, you know. What, what's the difference between wine? Is it that big of a difference? Please tell me. If it is, let me know. Write in the comments. Um, I decided to do this because, um, for two reasons. One, we all know Gary Vee likes wine. And, uh, two, I like wine. And, uh, three, um, it's, uh, I think people who like Gary Vee like wine. I'm just making stuff up now. Let me see if I can come up with a four. Four, um, I actually bought two bottles because I'm going to be making some spaghetti tonight. So I'm gonna, you don't get to see me drink that one. That one's just for me. Five, um, I think it's a really good idea to, you know, if I'm going to do this whole getting Gary Vee thing, let's dive all the way in. Six, um, now I'm just sort of just making stuff up. My strategy of attention is this. Um, if there's something that um, people pay attention to, it's their life, right? So why do I want to get Gary Vee's attention? Um, okay, I didn't say this in the first episode, but it's actually part of my three-prong strategy. Step two is actually going to be getting on the breakfast club. Step three meeting Selena Gomez. Yeah, that's the whole strategy. I realize how weird that is now that I've said it a few times, but I don't really care. The whole point is uh, more or less just for distribution for me, except for step three. That is, um, go to my, watch my video. I said it from the first day. My mistake was watching Wizards of Waverly Place. I'm hooked. Now I gotta meet Selena. She's so cool. Anyway, um, so that's what this, this episode is about. I can tell you right now, I love the oak leaf. It's going to be great. I'm going to go do some dishes right now. It's going to keep me company. You'll see I opened it the ghetto method. You can see the cork moving around in there. If you have, um, if you grew up like me with the homies and you guys would do like um, little house parties and you wouldn't know how to, um, you didn't have like a wine opener maybe or you went to the beach or something, you didn't have a wine opener. People would take their, this is how I saw it the first time. You take chapstick, like if you have your chapstick, regular chapstick, not like the weird ones, but the ones that come in the regular tubes. You can push the cork in. Um, you have to wiggle it around a little bit so you can pour it out. But you can actually push the cork in without like exploding the bottle with like air pressure or anything like that or hurting yourself. I'm not suggesting you do this because if you do hurt yourself, it's not my fault. I actually have a scar from trying to open a different wine bottle on a different day. It's quite a noticeable scar, actually, on my hand. That day, I had a wine opener that was defunct, and it was like 4 a.m. in the morning, and I was trying to do a painting. And for some reason, I decided, I was, I hadn't slept yet, so it's not like I woke up early to drink wine. This was late night drinking for me. And um, so, I tried to open it, and um, I cracked the top of the bottle off, cut my arm, and I decided not to get stitches. Instead, I went to the grocery store, and I bought bandages, and I picked it up myself. I also don't recommend that, so you might get hurt. I'm not making any recommendations. Anyway, this has been episode two of Getting Gary V, the Oak Leaf um, Two Buck Chuck Wine Reveal. And why I think this makes sense strategy wise is, like I said, people pay attention to their lives. So, of course, Gary V is eventually going to see this series. Just like if I made a series on Dragon Ball Z, because so many people have watched Dragon Ball Z my age, I know that people are going to watch it. If you're a Walmart employee, make a series on Walmart employees. Guess what? There's tons of Walmart employees. You guys have a lot to bond over. If you like watching crap on Netflix, make a show about Netflix shows. There's a lot of people who watch that, and they've watched that crap. If you like making video games, 
making video games, making video games, which that's the activity. Make a show about making video games. Other people who make video games will watch your show. Anything that you do, unless you're the only person on the planet who does it, in which case there's a whole nother reason to make it, because people watch what they do do, and then they watch what they don't do, which means they basically watch anything. There really isn't a good reason not to be making video content right now. Cameras were just really invented, you know, relatively recently. I know we have short lifespans, so we think that 100 years is like a long time ago. Um, but cameras were recently invented and only currently really accessible to the masses. So there's actually a, a severe drought. There's never been less video in the system than there is today, except for yesterday and the day before that. Um, but I'm just saying, historically, we're going to get to the point where there's hundreds of millions of trillions of video out there. So be glad that you're not competing with a thousand years of video and instead you're only competing with a hundred years. Go make video if you have a reason to. My, my big recommendation always, whether you're drinking, whether you're engaging in social media, whether you're living life, you're communicating, you're talking with your friends or family, the big thing is remember who you are and don't get lost in the sauce. Thanks for watching this episode two of Getting Gary B. Mm, I'm Kenyo. We're on a journey. Thanks for being on it with me. You're awesome. Goodbye.